This summer, the world was treated to a display of talent and abilities that brought countries near and far together to celebrate the spirit of good sportsmanship and national pride. I am of course talking about the Summer Olympic... Overwatch skins. Yes, if you've watched Game Room for a while, then you know that I'm in love with Overwatch, like, to obsessive levels. And that love extended to these Summer Olympic skins and other add-ons. I played this game for countless hours to get as many of them as I could, and I spent more money on those loot boxes than I want to admit. And that's not just because I'm obsessed with Overwatch, it's because I love alt skins and costumes on characters in any game. I know it's just cosmetic and it doesn't actually affect the game in any way, but I still love it when games provide that. They're one of the few optional bits of DLC I gladly download. So I was all over these Summer Olympic skins, but it got me thinking, what other skins do I want to see? So today on Game Room, we're going to go over my top 10 most wanted skin packs for Overwatch. Now before we begin, I just want to mention that these are all just for fun. None of these are me saying, hey, this skin would have a strategic advantage. No, of course it wouldn't. It's a skin. It's not meant to improve the gameplay. It's just there for fun. And many of these are going to be pretty goofy and weird, but when this game has already given us a goth Zarya and pirate Torbjorn, are you really going to rule anything out as being too silly? And one last thing, for some of these skins, I'm going to use fan art that I found online as examples of it. So I just want to make it clear that I own none of these drawings, and I'll leave in the descriptions down below who made each of these drawings and where you can find them online. So if you see something that you like, then make sure that you go and give the original artist some love. Alright, let's get into it. I'm going to start with an honorable mention, and that's Halloween skins. Now I love Halloween, it's my favorite holiday, so this would have been easily at the top of this list, but someone already hacked into the system and found some Halloween themed voice lines, so it looks like we're going to be getting this one anyway. But I still wanted to make sure that it got an honorable mention because I'm really looking forward to these skins and I hope that everyone gets one. P.S. Really hoping that one of the skins is Roadhog as Jason Voorhees. I don't know how you could legally do that, just make it happen. At number 10, Summer Costumes. Now, I know we just got the Summer Olympic costumes, but I want some actual summer costumes. Take the Overwatch team to the beach. I want to see Hanzo in water wings and a streak of suntan lotion on his nose. Reinhardt in swim trunks. Still full on armor, but just with a Hawaiian t-shirt and swim trunks over it. And of course, I need a junk rat whose rip tire is an inflatable inner tube. And if you need some convincing of this, check out this great piece of art by Gedu. It's D.Va in a special scuba themed suit. Her mech is shaped like a shark and she's got a snorkel just to drive it home. This is a skin I'd love to play with, especially if they gave us a brand new beach themed map to fight on. At number 9, Wasteland Skins. So in the world of Overwatch, Australia has basically been turned into, well, Mad Max. That's why Junkrat and Roadhog look like they crawled out of a garbage dump that was on fire right before showing up to the fight. But hey, I like Mad Max. So if you have a post-apocalyptic Aussie wasteland in your world, how about some skins for the other characters themed around this? Including an actual leather Max getup for Soldier 76 and a Furiosa themed suit for Symmetra. They both have robotic arms after all. At number 8, Robots. Speaking of skins inspired by the world of Overwatch, in this game robots called Omnics rose up and rebelled, causing wars and destructions across the world. The Omnics played a large role in this world, so of course I want to see some skins where they take all the human characters and make them robots. And yes, I know that Team Fortress 2 already had something like this, but like I said, for this world it actually fits way better. At number 7, Winter Skins. Hey, if I suggested Summer Skins, it only makes sense that I suggest Winter ones too. With Mei's ice skills, it just makes sense to give her a skin, and with how Tracer always races out ahead of the team when the match starts, you could give her a red nose and antlers for a Rudolph outfit. And you'd be crazy not to give Roadhog and Junkrat a Santa and Elf duo outfit. Number 6, Blizzard Cosplay Skins. Blizzard has made some of the most memorable games of all time, so why not have the Overwatch characters dress up in some of these skins inspired by other Blizzard characters? Reinhardt as a Marine from StarCraft, Mercy as Ariel, Widowmaker as Nova, Roadhog as an Orc or a Pander, there's lots of big guys to pick from for him. My point is, there are so many Blizzard characters that you could use, and with the diehard fans of these franchises, that just seems like easy money. Number 5, Formal Wear. Listen, I'll just put it out there right now, I want a Soldier 76 skin that dresses him up in a tuxedo like James Bond. You can't tell me that wouldn't be stylish. You could even give him a couple of famous Bond lines as the unlockable dialogue. But beyond that, just look at this pic from Moi Huey. Just look at how cool they all look. 
I'll admit there are some characters it works better for like McCree and Widowmaker, and there are other characters that wouldn't work for at all, like you can't just put Farah in an evening gown and then slap a jetpack on her back, but for those characters it does work for, it really works for. Number 4, Old Timey Skins. I left the name Old Timey a bit vague because I didn't want to peg down any one specific time period, but I think it would be cool to get a variety of skins based on periods of the past. Genji in classic Japanese garbs, Reinhardt in a Camelot style suit of armor, or like with this piece of fan art from Urban Melon, Soldier 1776. I would love to see you take some of these characters, all of whom have costumes based on advanced technology, and adapt them to make them all look older, to make them look like they came from various different periods from the past. Number 3, Monster Skins. I'm not going to lie to you, my favorite skin in the whole game is Mercy's Devil and Imp costumes. Seeing a character like Mercy get a demonic makeover is just really interesting to me, which probably says something about me that I should ponder on for another day. My point is, I'd love to see other characters in this game get a monster makeover. I mean, just look at this design of Demon Hunter Genji by Aethage. I can't explain why, but reinterpreting these characters into darker, more monstrous ways is just fun to me. And as I said, I couldn't put Halloween skins on this list since it's already on the way, so I had to figure out some way to get something spooky on here. Number 2, Fantasy Skins. When I was looking up some artwork for fan skins of Overwatch characters, there were so many fantasy themed skins. Like overwhelmingly, it was the number one theme I saw popping up, and for good reason. As I said earlier, this is Blizzard we're talking about. The people who made Warcraft a worldwide sensation. The audience of this game are proven fantasy buffs, so why not dive into that? Just check out this Symmetra fantasy skin by Tremont, where she's replaced the futuristic tech with advanced plant life. Imagine instead of creating a turret out of hard light, she plants down a seed that then grows into a bulb that fires out beams of hard sunlight. And yes, I did just describe a Bulbasaur, but still, my point remains, it's a cool idea. And at number one, fan skins. I said that many of the themes on this list were inspired by fan skins I saw online, but that's because they're all really darn good. I can't even begin to list all the amazing designs I saw while researching this episode. And end of the day, as much as I'd love to see any of these themes I mentioned brought to life, the number one thing that deserves to be made a reality is all of these incredible pieces of art. I say that Blizzard should open up for fan submissions, then they comb through them and find the top 5 for each character that they thought could be used in the game, and then they let the fans vote on which one they want to see. It would be a great way to provide a wide variety of truly creative skins, and a way to pay tribute to this amazing fan base that has made this game the phenomenon that it is. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode everyone, and let me know in the comments down below what skin themes would you like to see come to Overwatch. And remember, if you want to see more geeky videos from the world of video games, comic book movies, and more, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button because we do fun videos like this every single week. And you can contact me on Twitter and Tumblr at ProfessorThorgy with any comments, questions, or just anything else that you want to say. And as always, if you give us a thumb up and share this video, then that really does help us out. So thank you to everyone who has supported this channel. And also remember that the easiest way to support this channel is simply to come back next week for another episode of Gamer. This has been Aaron saying I'll see you then. Bye.